Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And when I went back to talk to Homer the Firefly, well, he did suggest that I light the tea lamps, but he did so by the way means of a haiku. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. <laughs> okay! Oh, now I can't talk to him again, so you guys can't hear it. Shit. Maybe that will help. Only one way to find out, I guess. No happier sight have I seen than a tea lamp lit by dragon flame. Silly! Oh, hey. Missed one. <laughs> that one of the ferns over there was a, uh, a critter of some kind. But no, nobody down there except that poor crawdad who keeps coming back. Not weird at all. Okay. Well, if I was, uh. If I was Christ, I could walk across the water and get over there, but I don't think that's going to work. to hell with you. I'm thinking that pupil is moving, but I don't know. It doesn't even look like it's following me. There's a rainbow floating there for a moment. Alright, now what? Over there, I think. But first... Oh! Oh! Uh, that was very close. So you can swim here. It's not just, you know, instant uh, death. It's just not recommended, because those guys are immediately on your ass. That was not on purpose, by the way. It was just an oddly good demonstration. I didn't even see that there. Welcome to the world, Michael. Time to come in out of the cold. Uh, the gems are meant to indicate that these enemies were created by the sorceress. You know, the nasty Nork made hell of his goons. This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. Oh my god, he's doing it too. No, your haiku poetry stinks. It, dragon, just cough up those stinking gems, and I can go home. 
<laughs> what is with this place? Was that first thing Homer said, haiku? I was distracted by the French accent being the wrong French accent. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. Okay, that was actually pretty good, doing two in a row. Everybody and their dad inspired by the grave mind speaking in poetry. Darn Happy birthday, Thelonious. When all lamps are lit, there is a secret in here that I will show you. This is a strange level. What is it called? Midday Gardens World. Is there no goddammit, it's a, you know, we're just here in Spooky Swamp, so I don't get it. I really don't. And smack that, and smack that. How am I doing for gems? Close, but no cigar. Quite a few left to go. Escort the twins one. Come on in, Sheila. When all lamps are lit, there is a secret in here that I will show you. Well, I can't light any lamp, says uh, Sheila. But I am curious what the hell is going on in here. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. God damn it. It's been a while since we've heard Spyro speak a word, huh? I noted that about the second game, that uh, Tom Kenny seemed to have a lot less lines. You know, given that, uh... In the first game, you know, the main collectible was, uh... Freeing dragons from the crystal statues. And uh, every single time you found one of those, there was at least a quick exchange where the guy says something, and then Spyro usually says something back. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? We will be waiting. When you return to help us, we shall bomb again. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the path for us. Will Sheila help us? I mean, okay. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. What a strange, strange swamp. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, but I can't run. Ow! I went boom again. Big rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. We will be waiting. When you return to help us, we shall bomb again. Hmm. How strange this all is. Okay, first things first, gem. Oh, 
Wait, what if I just go in ahead and do it all in advance? Okay. Oh, that's how it is. Sure, okay. At least that doesn't grow back. I just want to see what that looks like. Fair enough. I mean, no, not really. That makes no sense at all, but... Oops. Did not jump before I hit Y. So we had a line earlier which you talked about spy, uh, sparks eating butterflies to heal, just like in the Dragon Worlds. Given that this game doesn't take place in the Dragon Worlds, I thought that was a very odd thing to say. I mean, yeah, I remember that, but I also remember that it worked in Avalar in here, too. Oh, I see. There's two of them. Well, I didn't think that was going to work. Yes, there's two of them in two cages. I feel like that's related. Oh, hey. Close enough. Well, I hate that. All right, let's see how I do with this. Do that very quickly. Oh. I feel like the didgeridoo music makes less sense in this level than the other time we heard it. the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go... Yes! It's bombing time! Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last! Come on. Ow! I went boom again. Yes! It's bombing! Fuck you for not saying that earlier, incidentally. Wait. Oh, thank God. He actually touched that one. He seemed to go around it when I knocked it down.
No. Oh. Happy birthday, Peggy. The ringing in your ears will pass. One egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to free the last egg? Never. <laughs> if you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. I was wondering if they were going to, like, change the ordering or something, but, okay. Oh, I see. He's got a different passing. Says. Okay. All right, that's the first one he runs into. Ow! Yes, it's... Really? This one here? And just in case, they are right next to each other. Oh, fuck you, buddy. I hate this loop bullshit. I see. Which one's next? The one in the middle. Okay. Yep. I'm pretty good at mashing that beat on. So it's this one, then the one in the middle. Or, so there's four of them, but it's the second one. I didn't even see the fourth one. my hero. Yes, sorry about that. Uh, happy birthday to Michelle, and confusion to me, because, uh... For a minute there, I was picking up my own, uh, recording HUD in the videos, which was not ideal. But, yes. That was weird, but I am glad that got done. Scrooge Vince 2, and defeat Sleepyhead! You can't double jump if you've done... Sorry, using their terms, you can't, uh... What was it? Air jump after you've double jumped. A very non-standard definition. Which does make me wonder when the definition of double jump was, def was uh, you know, standardized to this. Of 
just realized, I think this game came out in the same year as, uh... The first game I ever Let's Played, American McGee's Alice. Hmm. With all lamps are lit. Yeah, I got that. So we need to keep looking around for goods and services and find out what the fuck that's about. But for now, I'm calling it an episode on Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. Later!